Hello everybody, my name is Aceface. We're going to be doing some solo T2 Dark testing in the Cheapo Rocket Hawk. The Cheapo Rocket Hawk. The amazing Cheapo, really cheap, bulk cheap, the dirt cheap, the rubbish cheap, the really delightingly cheap hawk right here it is such a good ship i love this ship i really want to see it fall but it, oh, i don't want to but i would love to find a way to find it to fall so we can improve upon it because this is such a great ship this 36 million isk standard hawk right here i oh, like okay, it's not so standard fit but very very cheap fit has been working wonders in the t2 abyss it's been going so good and I've, I, do, I see no way for this to fail. It just works so well. And that's what we're going to be testing right here. Because this is such a great ship. I mean, you think about it. 36 million isk. If it feels To me, it feels quite unreasonable that a 36 million isk ship is able to earn the amount of isk it's able to do. T2 solo frigate abyss is a significant amount of isk. You're talking, I don't know, 60, 70 million isk an hour at least. Depending on the loot drops, obviously. Sometimes it can be really bad. But, oof, and the filaments brought to earth cheap. So perfect. Okay, let's grab these filaments right here. But we're doing T2 Darks. I've done this in Agitated Dark. Uh, where are they? There they are. No, I don't need to set 94. Uh, I've done these in uh, Exotics before. And it works good. It's better in a way that you're doing Exotics because the, the missiles will do more damage. But uh, I had a bit of issue with certain Kikimura wave that was deciding to kite me. So I think it'll be a bit easier in the dark side since their range is reduced, making them want to come closer to me making me have an easier time to hit them with my point blank range rockets let's enable some security right here and form a fleet with ourselves pilot form fleet now i know i'll be making a lot of videos on this ship and i know uh, it's, it's just the reason is i th just think it's too good to be true and i really love this ship it's so good the price and how much you're able to do like i find it just a hard task alone to find a ship that's able to solo t2 abyss in a frigate like even with bling i think it's hard it's not easy but this is able to do it with no bling no bling at all i think it's amazing i think it's really damn good so that's why we're gonna just see if we're not just delusional right here not just having a bunch of luck but so far it's been working really well and theoretically i see no reason why this is will not work striking a starving lay shack oh a starving lay shack that is going to nuke me out in one cycle no problem no problem half our tank is not even reliant on capacity oh that guy is going fast with attacking cloud half our tank is not even reliant on a capacitor plus the missile is not reliant on capacitor so that's great see that capacitor just deleted right there okay Let's get close right here. Close, 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 close. We'll take a bit of damage. We should start using our booster. Get a bit closer, please. Okay, start rocket, rocketing away. Rockety rocket. Let's go. Let's keep the shields at max. Orbit, 2,500. Oh. oh, no. Oh, no. We'll keep up the AB. That's all. Just keep on the AB. It's fine. Look, we just take him out. Just take him out a bit. You know, we take a bit of damage here and there. It's all right. We have passive tank as well. Because we're using a hybrid fit right here. Medium shield extender and shield booster, which naturally is buffed a lot by the Hawk. Oh, I see why we're taking a lot of damage. It's this spark needle over here because he's ZM damage. So we'll take him out real quick. We'll go to this uh, striking uh, ledge. I popped so fast. Okay. Orbit real quick. And take him out. Oh, I don't want to shoot that by. I can of cash right there. Okay so good so so good okay now let's go to the bank a bit of cash easy money easy money like if i was starting out into the abyss i would find a way to get this fit as soon as possible because it feels so good in a way i actually almost prefer it more than the retribution for t2 solo i find it a bit easier because it has so good tank this ship right here uh, it has actually the same amount of tank as retribution but the thing is it's got a big buffer, which enables it to perform pretty good. Uh, a little bit better than Retribution. And also, it's passive tank, so it's not reliant, like half passive tank with a hybrid style, so it's not reliant on the capacitor to be able to give it a tank. And then also, it's able to do the dark sides, which increase your tank as well a lot. Because, well, they don't increase your tank, but it increases your survivability because it reduces the ability of the NPCs to hit us. 
Uh, buy committed for cash, lose a deep watcher. Oh, the fat deep watcher wave. Okay, let's get to work. We've got some Ephialtis and Lucid Escorts over here. Let's get close. Get close. This is a bit of a downside with the Hawk where it's got so short range, so you're wasting a bit of time here where you could have spent doing damage. You're just um, just really traveling, not doing much, not being productive. It's always good to be doing DPS when you're in the best. Always should be doing DPS, but in these kind of situations, you do lose an out on a bit of the uh, effectiveness because you're not fully utilizing your DPS. We're doing zero DPS right now. Land a volley, just get the loot real quick and then we'll focus on the NPCs. We can maybe grab the Scourge Javelin, maybe just to snipe them a bit. Oof! Raging Electrical Wall. That is so good right there. What is this? Abyssal Loot, 12 million. Oof. Raging Electrical is a really good T4 filament. That is great to see. Okay, we'll go with the Scourge Rage now. Approach this guy. Lucid Escort, where are you going? Where are you going, Lucid Escort? Let's wreck his face with the, with the Scourge Reach rockets. <laughs> you can't run from me, Lucid Escort and Ephialtis over here. I'm gonna go down super fast. Hey, where are you going? Where do you think you're going? I'm gonna catch up with you. And they all like they always like to keep close because they they're in the dark side, so their guns range is reduced. So they're like, oh no, we can't hit. We need to get closer. They get close to me, and I stab them with my rockets. That's what happens. That's what's the great thing about this. So strongly, I would strongly recommend this fit right here. Works so well. If you guys have troubles, please let me know. I can maybe improve upon it. I can maybe recommend to you some flying tips. Or I can maybe learn myself that this is a dumb idea, but I mean, I've earned back this ship so many times over. So even if it does fail, it's not a bad idea. It is still a grand success because I've earned maybe 200 million Iska total with this very fit right here. This very like ship I'm flying right now. The all If you count the total ISK is earned from all the T2 sites, it's currently run. Like it's actually run, not like on the test server or I've copied the fit and used it some other kit. Like I mean, this actual ship we're flying right here has earned about 200 million isk so when you're flying a 30 million isk ship and you've earned 200 million isk that's a good thing you've earned back your ship a lot so i mean even if you fail you're still going to be coming out to the profit and oh there is an extraction node right there who looks quite juicy so we'll just grab that real quick because it's so close land a little volley so you can sometimes get all right loot from an extraction node even in a t2 if it's like uh, if you're on the lucky side you get like oh a million or something like that if you're lucky sometimes you just get a few hundred thousand but you can sometimes get 700k as well which is actually a little bit like average it's not great but it's yeah average is good it's like better than it can, it can be a lot worse but it can be better it can be a lot worse but it can be better it's quite average maybe a tiny bit below average actually no no probably more like average i i'm being a bit desensitized because i've been running a bunch of t4s in my t0 to t6 abyss series so i'm not i'm kind of forgetting what is the average and what is not the average for the abyss sites okay orbit this guy here 1k wreck this guy lucid deep watcher watching us from the depths of the abyss come on now take care of this lucid deep watcher it is a bit of a grind fest when you're going against the lucid deep watcher because it is a bit of a he is one of the highest HP targets you can come up against in the, in the Abyss. So it's not like this is supposed to be super fast. But I mean, on average, I would say the time to complete these T T2 is 10 minutes. If you've got really good, uh, if you've got really good uh, waves, you can get it done even quicker. Maybe 10 minutes. Sometimes slower, sometimes faster. Somewhere around 10 minutes, I think. You've still got decent DPS. I mean, 300 DPS is still decent DPS. The only issue is just to apply that DPS is like a bit difficult. You've, you've got to get real close to use it. Like we're a little jackknife right here. We'll just stab him when we get close. And that's why I love the dark side. So even though the dark side does not have a resistance penalty like the exotic sides, because the exotic sides makes our Scourge Raid rockets do more damage. Um, I think that in some way it could be about the same speed of completion because here stuff wants to get close to us and we go faster. So we're able to do damage faster and stuff comes to us faster so i think that extra time saved to do damage earlier can compensate for the reduction in resist we have in the exotic side so i think that's good 
in that way. But the main reason I do run darks is not because of that, it's just because of increased survivability. So it's just a plus on top of the increased survivability. So that's good. great to see, it's great to see. And then not only is it like, we also get more kinetic resist, so it makes us survive a bit better too, but we don't really have any troubles with kinetic resist in the abyss. It's mainly EM and thermal, I would say. Maybe a bit of uh, explosive too sometimes. But mainly EM and thermal. Because sand should apply really well with the uh, EM, with Mr. Charybdis. Uh, and uh, the Kikimoras do thermal damage. Let's grab some dank loot. See what we've got here. We'll go for this bargain into the cash first. Go super fast. Got a little tick right here. I wonder what that's from. Uh, maybe maybe a market order or something. Maybe I was ratting. I was not ratting recently. Strange. Okay, let's grab this. Open up the loot. What is the loot here? Three million, not so much, but it's alright. Not too bad. I need to get into Caribdis right here. Caribdis is not allowed to run away. Caribdis likes to run away, but she's not allowed to run away. We're gonna make it like take a little turn right here. There's a whoop go behind her like that. Okay, let's see if this guy is uh, chasing us. Are we actually able to shoot even though we're sort of out of our missile range? Okay, we're gonna make a little turn right here, push Caribdis to the gate. So we do this in a very efficient style. Very, very efficient style. Like this hawk is so good. It just has no problem. Just no problem, does not care. Does not care, just goes straight through T2 Abyss. This is just so great. So, so great. Please test this out, please test this out. I should probably do a giveaway actually where I give a bunch of these out and then you, uh, then people tell me, oh, I died to this, I died to this. I, I can imagine a lot of people will also die because they don't have enough skills. Because I my character right here has got max skills, just keep that in mind, I've got max skills. So. Uh, that contributes a lot to me being pretty powerful with this ship right here. Let's reload right there. I want to see what is my rocket specialization. Rocket specialization. Level 3. So it could also be a bit better in that regard. We can maybe put a rocket specialization. Get even more. Uh, get even more damage out of our missiles. We would get like uh, 6 extra DPS. 200 and. Maybe we would be at 200, 330 DPS. Something like that. Be great to see if we were to get something like that. I don't have any Halcyon booster we could use because you can always use a Halcyon booster to get some extra DPS or tank. Mm hmm. But that's great. I mean, look at that abyssal loot almost 17 million. Half the ship, like, look at I, I just uh, back half this ship's value right here, just like that. Just, just, just like that. It's like a uh, return of investment is so high on this, and that's what I love about it. Only thing I wish with the Hawk is that it looked better because I think it looks like absolute trash. Absolute crap. I think it looks really bad. It does okay. It looks alright, but it's a bit intimidating look. I can appreciate that. But I'm not. This skin looks actually quite good. But like, there's nothing. It doesn't really appeal to me too much, the appearance of this ship right here. I think they should redesign. At least make it more modernized. They can maybe keep the same. They should maybe keep the same design same tripod like uh, uh appearance but give it a bit modernized feel i think all the models based on the merlin could use a bit of a modernization the same way the manticore got modernized a long time ago i think the merlin deserves the same case as well as well as the merlin's brothers and sisters not just the merlin because i think the kestrel too like the manticore got some special treatment but the, the kestrel did not so I think in this case, if they're going to update the Merlin, they update all the Tick 2 variants as well, make them look a bit more modernized. More, they look like it looks like a model from 2008. That's what it looks like, which it is actually. I think it is. Okay, easy sight right there. T2 done. Solo, no problem whatsoever. Only the Dank Isk in yeah, a very cheap ship. Okay, so make sure you tell me down below. If you decide to try this fit, let me know if it works like bad, like what fails or something like that. Maybe I can try to find a way around that. Maybe I can see if there's some parting error. Maybe it could be that there's some kind of fit alteration that needs to be made. But also, also, this is something I think is very important as well. Let me know if you try this ship and it works good. I want to know that because I want to know that it works good because it's a good feeling for me to know that I'm making a ship that other people use that it works well and it makes me also confirms to me that okay yeah i know that it's working for a lot of people that's good so let me know in the comments down below if this works well or if it works bad i want to know <laughs> 
But either way, I'm really impressed the ship works so great. No problems whatsoever. You only need to just be a bit tactical at times. But if you've got reasonable parting skills, I think it should have no issue using this in the T2 docks. Really, really smooth. Really, really smooth. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.